Hello everyone. Today, as you have seen, a magazine, a crocheted magazine or a crocheted a book, but I want to call it a magazine. In case you're interested in what that is, it's just a box that I have to sort it out. Baby stuff. Here it is. You may wonder how I end up with uh, this. Well, if you're first time over here, you may not know, but but every month in 2021, I organize giveaways for my members knitting I love uh, channel. It is a join button neck to subscription, so something uh, like this, just FYI. But also from time to time, I do a subscriber giveaways. And in January 2022, I had lovely dollies knitted by my mom. And I wanted to thank her and maybe try to find her kind of a book that has dollies and then, you know, send it to her so she will have more inspirations to crochet. Therefore, first things first, I went to book depository, link it down below, it's affiliate link. If you go through it and you check this book or maybe you go and buy other books, it doesn't really matter anything, um, they will send 5% my way. So I went on, on it and I was looking for something and I spot a this book and I thought this is brilliant. But the only thing that you can actually see as a description. I read amazing note in regards to this and um, it is inspiration from 1940s, 1950s. The only thing I couldn't find is there any charts because this is in English, my mom speaks Polish, but she's very good when you have charts and I wanted to find something like that. And because it was, it said that it was 1940s, 1950s, I thought that that was quite popular, I think, during that time, I was just guessing. And I went on Reverly and I tried to see if there's anything linked over there. And uh, the website says there is um, over 30 30 dollies over here on Reverly at that time when I was looking I could find there was 14 projects linked to this magazine uh, or the book I don't know how you would call it but at the end of the day uh, it hasn't been properly marked as how many and what type they are. I thought I'm going to risk it especially that I noticed that it was on sale and that the book depository sends uh, books around the world for free so I thought I'm going to pay and send it to my mom. So my mom got it and as you can see something what happened with the with the packaging but I can definitely can scratch that it's just a glue to it so I'll try to do that at some point. I've probably never <laughs> but that's doable. So she went through it and she said there are beautiful masterpieces. It looks that the person who um, created this went through maybe magazines or maybe newspapers or wherever, you know, you would see a beautiful dolly. Um, and she kind of took it the way it was, I think, written. And there's no schematics whatsoever. So uh, she couldn't use it. I don't crochet, so I don't know if it's an English style or is American style of, or technique, you would say, of crocheting. So um, maybe there is an introduction in the beginning. Let me see. The introduction is beautiful. Basically, everything is based on companies in United States. Apparently, in the 1940s, 1950s, there were uh, flyers or leaflets even for 10 or 25 cents that people could purchase. Um, just so cheap so they could purchase the cotton yarn to create beautiful dollies. When the, obviously uh, the handmade items were more time consuming and the machine came in, those kind of were forgotten. And this lovely lady, which is Rita, uh, she collected them and she put them nicely over here, those that she thought are the most beautiful ones. And she mentions uh, here about the Vogue, that uh, now these days those old those dollies that we put on the tables or under lovely vase now we put them as an art so you could see it behind me <laughs> so i like that then it's a quick information how to what to do if you have a different tension very quickly very thorough love it how to wash uh, your dollies and stretch them out beautiful and then it says the crochet terminology and hooks listed in this book are those used in the united states the following charts give the u.s names of crochets stitches and their equivalent in other, other countries and equivalents to US crochet hook sizes. And obviously she says to familiar, 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 
familiar yourself with the terminology before you start a certain project, you know, probably not to get frustrated in the middle of it. So brilliant, but the charts, there's there's no charts whatsoever. I don't understand what she says about chart. Um, there are a few, but they're more that you don't crochet from perspective of creating a texture. It's more about like two, maybe double crochet hook, uh, stitches or maybe three, and you work with the square. It's more like, for instance, here's example. This thing overall has 48 pages and it says on the back that it has 32 masterpieces in miniature. So let me read what it's on back and maybe I will tell you quickly what it says. Yeah, so basically the back also says the same thing, mostly what it says in another book what it says in the introduction and also over here is written down that it has some tips easy to follow guide uh, is for beginners so you can go and check that out so we have like a metric co conversion chart simple crochet stitches informations and we have some pieces over here what i'm going to do i think i'm going just to take photos of just the photos of the dollies to because that's what I wanted to see what kind of projects are actually in this book and how many of those I would love and so prepare yourself for 32 photos right now What do you think? Let me know which one were your favorite. And uh, like I said, if I had the same passion for this, oh, I wish I wish I could. Not for just socks knitting and a bit of here and there sweaters. Um, this would be something because it's just seriously a piece of art. If you have it or you can make it, it's just for me mind blowing. And I would say this is, even though I don't crochet, tell me if you're a crocheter, what do you think if it is it worth getting i think after i think including i think i spent seven eight euro for it so i think it's quite a good price for 32 masterpieces and especially from the 40s and 50s i'm not sure can i tell you anything more in regards to this a kind of book magazine i don't know how to call it but let's say a big thanks to rita because she did an amazing job um creating this Therefore, if you're interested, go down below, check Book Depository. I got it from there, and I hope you enjoyed this one. See you next one. Bye!